hey guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for participating in the last video and today we will be giving you an hint at the end of the video also to put in the comment section so that you can compete in the grand prize of the nebula 1200 ac router so look for the clue at the end of the video and for today we will be discussing about the unify mesh ac access point now we have talked about this mesh in small amounts in terms of the information on it but what we did do is put it on the dream machine in our last video um, you can go to the link right here to see that video and also for the prize that we will be doing for the end of March which will be doing the draw on the 1st of April you can also see the link for that as well in the video in the description and also in the corner right here so let's without further ado let's program this device for a standalone access point using our cell phone so the first thing we're gonna do is to plug our cable into our poe adapter then our device should light up Then we're going to go to our Unify app. As you can see here, we can adapt it now directly to our dream machine. We're going to do that first. Now, how is it going to adapt to the Unify? It's by wireless because there is no LAN connection to it right now. So it's going to connect through it by wireless. Now the reason you're not seeing the light is because my settings actually is to turn off my LED lights. And I can now go to settings. To confirm that it is this device, I just hit locate. And there you have it. It starts to blink to show that it is this device. Stop start again and stop now this is wirelessly connected to this UDM and how we're going to know that that it is it's by the uplink wireless uplink 99% this is what it is doing so it is wirelessly connecting to the dream machine and sending out the wireless access again. Now, what if we want to program this to only connect this device with the phone and create a system or a wireless SSID and then we can plug the LAN inside of it and get some internet through it. We're going to do that now. Now for the standalone feature, we we'll plug a cable into the LAN port and the other end into a router. Then we're going to set up, which is going to be the one to scan. So you scan, I'm going to connect, join the Wi-Fi. And once we have successfully joined the Wi-Fi, this is AP connected. Now I can, this is give you the option now to, you're about to set up an independent AP, continue without console. Now that's what you want to do. You would now say outdoor AP. That's what we're going to name it. Next. Now this is going to say to name your Wi Fi. Now I can say home Wi Fi. And the password, I can just put it one. To eight just to look back on it 
that's correct you have advanced settings now where you can actually separate the 2.4 and the 5 years if you want to have two Wi-Fi names not going to do that today so next this is the independent password if you should recover it and put it inside of another um, for example another controller you would need this password to access it but we don't want to change that now so we're going to just click next now it is adding our access point Okay, perfect. So now that we're finished now, our Wi-Fi access point is now connected. Join the Wi-Fi. Press join and so now it's going to connect to our own Wi-Fi that we have just created. And there you have it. Now that you have an independent, cannot be remotely managed or associated, so these are just telling you different things that are not available because you have it in independent but just now we can just unplug this from here and now we can take this to anyone's router or any network anywhere and just connect it directly to their router and we will have the same name Wi-Fi and everything that is associated with have just program without any controller so with that said it, it's basically an access point that you can put in your various areas that you probably wouldn't have um, wires running to instead of a cable running you could just power it at a remote location like the first part of the video that we did or you can do it as a standalone where you can program it once and you can take it wherever you'd like to take it to so for me personally I like to use my own wireless sometime when I go to hotels areas that sometime probably you won't have as much Wi-Fi coverage inside of your room you could always use this to extend your wireless that you would want to use so for example say you go to a, a hotel that gives you a wired connection and you'd want to have your wireless connection there you could always plug this in and have your wireless connection created there or you could even add a switch to that um, port that they have given to you and expand that port giving you access also to give you this device connected and also your laptop or any other device you'd want to connect so wh what I suggest is that this can be used in multiple purposes and for different occasions it all depends on what you would want so it can connect to your controller if you want so you could expand the existing um, connection that you have already or you can create your own with the phone that we just did so in a nutshell this is basically an access point that gives you the flexibility to use a controller or not and it's all it's all done on your phone whether you have a controller or you don't have a controller it will get the job done and this device can hold up to a hundred concurrent device so your typical router can hold about 15 devices this can hold a hundred so that's the big difference between an access point now and a router the router is going to do a lot of processing this is just going to be focused on connections and then the back end which is your other router or any other gateway is going to be doing all of that processing in terms of routing and traffic so that's it for now so the key word for today for the grand prize of the router is going to be win with next deck so type that inside of the comment where any other comment that you would have you can just add this insert hashtag win with next deck all right so thank you again for watching and have yourself a lovely day